Every now and then it's nice to be at home and maybe try to brag about something and you get knocked over the head by your, your kids and your wife that calm down, you weren't that good. Um. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, who is best known as the former NHL legend and widely considered to be the greatest hockey player of all time, earning himself the nickname The Great One, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate in California. And this guy wrote in a little town, he wrote in the paper, everybody should have their own nickname. And he said, we'll call him The Great One. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, I don't want that name. And it stuck with me my whole life. Wayne and his wife Janet had recently listed the coveted property for $22.9 million. In the late 1980s, soon after moving over to LA Kings, Wayne purchased a large property in the exclusive Beverly Hills gated community of Beverly Park, which he eventually sold a few years later to a billionaire. In 2007, Wayne and his wife custom built a mansion located within a gated country club in Thousand Oaks, California. The property is 6.5 acres and has a 13,000 square foot mansion. The Gretzky sold the house in 2014 to former baseball player Player, Lenny Dykstra. He lowered the price over and over, eventually losing it in foreclosure after he declared bankruptcy and was arrested on fraud charges. What a turn of events. To bring it all full circle, Wayne and Janet Gretzky reacquired the house in 2018 for $13.8 million. Once again, in October 2020, Wayne and Janet listed coveted property for sale for $22.9 million. Confused yet? Well, we'll take a look at this beautiful mansion Wayne calls home. So nice, he bought it twice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour you don't want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. The Great One has had quite the lucrative career in the National League, earning a net worth of $250 million. During his 20 seasons NHL career, he earned a total of $46 million in NHL salary. He earned an additional $50 million from endorsements during his playing days. When combined, he earned around the same as $150 million after adjusting for inflation. In addition, he has invested his money very wisely, building an empire that today includes sports teams ownership, a vineyard, real estate ventures, and more. Gretzky enjoyed many lucrative endorsement deals during his professional hockey career. By 1995, he was ranked one of the top five highest paid athlete endorsers in North America. Thanks to his deals with major global brands like Coca-Cola, Domino's Pizza, Sharp Corporation, and Upper Deck Company. After retiring, Gretzky later became part owner of the NHL team, the Phoenix Coyotes, buying a 10% stake in them in May 2000 in partnership with majority owner. Having already previously owning the Hull Olympics, a Quebec junior team, and the Toronto Argonauts, a Canadian football team. In 2017, Gretzky partnered with Andrew Pelly Limited to open Wayne Gretzky Estates, a winery and distillery in Niagara on the Lake Ontario. In addition, the Great One also had his own restaurant chain, which had a number of restaurants throughout Edmonton and Toronto. Gretzky met actress Janet Jones while he was serving as a judge on the television show Dance Fever, which would lead Wayne to his real estate portfolio in Cali. Shortly after marrying, Wayne purchased a large property in the exclusive Beverly Hills gated community of Beverly Park. While not much is known about his first home, it was sold to a billionaire named Eric Schmidt, not the Google billionaire Eric Schmidt, which then brought the drama with the Thousand Oaks home. In 2007, Wayne and his wife custom built a mansion located within a gated country club in Thousand Oaks, which was sold in 2014 and then reacquired in 2018 after a series of fraud charges associated with Lenny Distra. It has since been listed for a whopping $22.9 million, features over 13,000 square feet, and boasts six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Wow, what a scandal. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now, we've previously reported on the homes of Justin Timberlake and Miley Cyrus, so if you'd like to, please go and check those out. Ring that bell for notifications if you like these videos and follow me on Instagram at thatdumedfly so we can chat some more and let us know in the comment section down below whose house tour you'd like to see next. Let's get into the video. Literally the home that was so nice he bought it twice. This $22.9 million home that features 13,000 square feet and both six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, originally built in 2002, was reacquired for a modest $13.5 million. Located on the estate in the prestigious Sherwood Country Club community, the colonial revival style mansion is divided among a main residence and two guest houses, one of which is now used as pro grade gym. While pulling up to the lavish abode, the property features a circular motor court with a central fountain, a large port cochere, and steps up to a grand front door flanked by white columns. Upon entry to the lavish estate, guests lucky enough to visit are greeted by a dramatic entryway with crown moldings, sweeping staircase, and arched doorways that lead into the formal space. The foyer is decked out with elegant paintings, unique antiques, and a grand chandelier soaring from the high ceiling. In addition, the double height foyer features lovely archways and a grand curved staircase up to the second level. Steps away from the entrance is a topped living room with a beautiful marble decked chef's kitchen. The kitchen features all the modern stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a beautiful island perfectly centered 
in the room. Underrated with this dig is the elegant craftsmanship of the home. From the gleaming wood floors, marble surfaces, and elegantly coffered ceilings, throughout this home is fit for the great one. In addition, the kitchen features large cabinets featuring china fit for the great one and spectacular valley views. I'm telling you now, when it comes to views, this place does not mess around. While the interior of the home gives us some nice views on its own, essentially from almost every room in the home, there are awe-inspiring views. The home features large oversized windows that give the house bright life and give an airy and roomy ambiance. And let me tell you, these breathtaking views are endless from soaking in vistas of the Santa Monica Mountains or catching the calm vibes of Lake Sherwood. The Lux home features dual bathrooms with beautiful tilings and marble countertops, a soaking tub, and large stand and shower. The master suites feature walk-in closets that are big enough to be another room in the house, and it steps away from a sitting room with cozy fireplace, one of six in the home to be exact. An additional feature is access to that truly expansive terrace at the rear of the main house with views over the pool and west to the mountains. As you'd expect, there are a long list of interior amenities, including a primary suite with sitting room and dual baths, a screening room perfect for binging a few games, a fitness facility for those that are eager to bump iron, and office where he probably signed an endorsement contract or two. You'll be happy to know that Wayne likes to work hard and play hard, as the home features a game room complete with billiards table and it steps away from a bar for those that fancy a Chardonnay, of course. While the interior of the home is pretty lavish, the most luxurious part of the property has to be outdoors. The property's outdoor amenities include rolling lawns, manicured hedges, a championship tennis court for those that wanting to work on their tennis game, a huge pool spa with cozy furnishings surroundings. You'll be happy to know there's an additional outdoor bar for those who get thirsty soaking in the sun. In addition, there's also a kitchen with wood burning a pizza oven and a wood and gas barbecue perfect for a little outdoor entertainment or partying. I mean, the circular motor court with fountain is business in front, but the outdoor entertainment area and formal gardens is party in the back. While it appears the home has been recently listed for $22.9 million, we're willing to bet that Gretzky probably has another property or two under his sleeve. Who knows, maybe something for his daughter Paulina Gretzky and tennis pro Dustin Johnson's family. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Wayne Gretzky's home, the great one, and that sick pad he picked up in Thousand Oaks. After seeing that fancy little boat he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of the great one? Personally, I was a huge fan of that backyard with pool, wooden pizza oven? Just imagine the amount of team parties that he had over there over the years. Out of Gretzky's features, which ones are your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Love it if you guys follow me on Instagram at thatdoomcfly so we can chat some more. And let us know whose house tour to do next in the comments below. Bye.